So same for you, Swan. You're going to do the base here. You're going to lay down. Telling you to stand on the red here. I want you to practice this. Feel her hip bones again. Okay. Now this time, put the her hip bones onto the ball of your foot right there. Okay. There or in the middle. Depends on your flyer. She's an average sized person. Go ahead and put it right on the ball of your feet. If someone is bigger torso wise, you want to put it a little higher. So okay. you can support more of the weight. Okay. Here, here. A common mistake is you go a little too wide, go a little in. Parallel. This time we're not going in a B shape. We're going parallel because we want to support the body. Okay. Same thing. We're going to come in and push you up this way. Okay. So that makes it looks easy because I've been doing it for a while. So the first thing you want to do instead of going push you straight up, go do some ski jumps, which means like a Olympic ski jumper. And bring the hands back, chest forward, shoulders back. There we go. And just she's just going to lean in, and you're just going to take her weight and push her in. Don't push her too far back this way. Push her just back enough to where you still feel her body weight and come back. This is giving you a sense of her body weight and giving her a sense of learning how to trust that you can support her weight, right? There you go. There. And then after that, you grab hands here. Try not to hold on, because when you hold on, if she comes over, I'm gonna do that more gentle. Your it's hips okay. are bruised it's okay. down. It's okay. So when she comes over this way, you're holding her hand, she's gonna yeah. fall right on her face, okay? okay? So it's important, go ahead and uh, come up and push down. Good. So you want to do open support. She can hold on as strong as she wants. And the moment there's a fall, she can let go. Let's say you're falling forward. Let go, bring your feet down quick and over. Okay? okay. We may need to put some padding there. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll it kill those nerve endings yeah. eventually. <laughs> okay, so first thing again, we're going to do, she really pushes her hips forward. So let's come up for a second. Let's figure out your feet even mm -hmm. before everything. A common thing you'll see in, in new flyers is that they will want to kind of cave in, cave in this way, okay? Um, when, when you're about to fall, naturally you go like this, naturally you'll cave in. So to fight the instinct, I have my flies do what's called a proud pelvis. Your hips, you're proud, you push them out, your chest is out. Oftentimes when we're on a computer, we're very closed, we're internally rotated this way, hips are this way. You want to externally rotate, rotate out, chest back, shoulder, the back of your shoulders should touch each other. These, um, the scapulas here, push them back, squeeze your glutes, push them out, hips forward, proud like a superhero, like this. So when you're leaning into that bird, you're just strong and big, and the bird looks up, you go where he looks and look up, and bring your shoulder blades back, squeeze your glutes, up, like that. And that'll help him a lot. So keep you like, you'll feel like a surfboard to him, right? Again, we're here, glutes squeeze, shoulders back, looking up. We're just leaning in and out. Let's get that early wind first, because when if I have you come straight up to bird and you can't do it yet, you'll be frustrated. So just do this first, get that early sense of wind, mm -hmm. and then after that, come in and push up just like you did, okay? And then I'm gonna have Tanya fall a few times so she feels really comfortable falling off of you, okay? I'll be at a spot just in case, but I'd rather you catch yourself, okay? That's a great idea. So if you're falling over this way. One, just keep your hands up. Don't hold on. Just keep your hands up in case she wants that support. Yeah. And the moment she doesn't want the support, she can let go. Yeah. Okay. The key is to lower my legs. The key is to lower your legs and then keep your hands up. So even, let's say you fall into the side this way. The back here is easy, right? She's going to fall right back on her feet. You fall into the side, lower your legs, keep your hands up. She can bring her feet down as quick as you, as you can. Let's do the ski jumps first. And get, see if you can get into bird and then I'll go to the next thing.